Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video about this thing, how you can install the latest iOS 7 beta 2 on your iPhone or like iPad as well, but right now on iPads as well. So first, um, the normal way you would do this is of course that you are an Apple developer, you pay $99 every year and then you will be able to uh, install it on all of your devices. Uh, if that's not the case, uh, you can also, uh, there's also another way if you don't want to pay $99, uh, there is a way where you can, it's a pretty safe way where you can just register your UD ID, uh, uh, UD ID, it's basically an ID uh, that your device have. So let's say you have an iPhone, it has a unique ID uh, that you need to register. Uh, if you want to be on the safe side, if you want to be, be able to install the latest betas and stuff. Uh, so you can do that for a few dollars and there's, there are some services out there that will do that for you. Uh, but then also you should know that right now there's a lot of people that want to do this with the latest iOS 7 beta. They don't want to pay $99 but they just want to register one device. Then that is an awesome way to do that if you want to be on the safe side. Uh, and then, of course, you also you don't you don't have to register your UD ID. Uh, basically, how you can do it, and the key thing from what I from my understanding is that uh, when you uh, first, of course, you also need the firmware. You need to download the IPSW firmware uh, that should that is uh, for your specific device. And of course, you can find uh, what kind of device you have. Uh, on the back of your iPhone you have a model number so make sure also you download the right firmware for your phone if you have an iPhone 4 if you have an iPad of course uh, just download that and the key feature is that when you hook up your iPhone or your device to iTunes the key th thing uh, that I've heard is that instead of uh, restore your iPhone that you probably would do uh, if you would have registered your UD ID and if you do that then that should be kind of fine uh, from my understanding but if you don't do that then you should just uh, go here under updates you want to hit the option key on Mac and then use like left click and then this window will pop up and then you select the firmware that you downloaded uh, so I have like the that on my desktop here this IPSW folder or that IPSW file uh, that you of course need to make sure that it's the correct one and you need to extract it if it's uh, uh, if, if it's not extracted if it's uh, in a DM, DMG uh, Apple kind of format uh, then you can you so you should be able to uh, if you don't have registered your UDID, you should be able to use, go look for updates and update it that way without having any problems. And also, from my understanding, you should have all your data left. And also, you should also be able to go back to iOS 6 uh, at the moment uh, when Apple uh, when uh, when Apple is still supporting it. But when Apple later will release uh, iOS 7, they will like stop supporting it. So I'm not really sure what's gonna happen then. Uh, but you should be able to do this, uh, you, so you can probably try it out a little bit if you go and download firmware, look for update. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it, I, I would just not recommend it. It's probably easier to register your UD ID for a few bucks if you are really that curious. Uh, but don't restore your device, that's the key if you haven't registered your UD ID from my understanding. Uh, so. Um, very very simple, um, I will leave probably the links in the description if you want to check it out a little bit more. If you have any questions, of course you can help each other in the comment section down below. And also from what I've heard, if you are on a beta 1, you should be able to do an over the air update to beta 2. You should, you should have no issues whatsoever with that. Uh, but if you do not register like your UDID, but then restore your iPhone from iOS 6 to iOS 7, you can get some problems from my understanding. So. Be careful people, be careful. You can see I have my iPhone 4, my iPhone 4S, my iPhone 5, they're all rocking iOS 7 because it's awesome to be an Apple developer. Uh, so um, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. You can help each other out if anyone is curious about something. And hopefully you did enjoy this video and hopefully it did help someone out there. Uh, and if I did forget something, you can leave that in the comment section down below because I can always improve my content in future. Peace out.